Hello Aces, what is up and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So this one is going to be the Miko Yen Gervich MiG-15. Now, those of you who are subscribers to my channel or have checked out my channel, you may notice that there's already a MiG-15 tutorial there. But this is a brand new design because I, I personally did not like the old one. Uh, because for the old one, I used the light grey wool. I put it along the sides here. And then I used the stone slabs just to kind of round it off. I guess it looks kind of good. But this one is completely made of stone slabs. And I did do a couple little changes. So if you guys already did build that one, I would recommend keeping it. Uh, because then you could see which one you like better. Whether you like this new one or you like the other one. Um, so the, the uh, mate, I did change a couple things on this one. I moved the cockpit a little bit more forward because if you look at the actual plane, the cockpit's pretty much right at the front of the aircraft. Um, it does look kind of look better if you have it one more back though, but I just wanted to keep it like this because it looks it actually does look pretty good, like a real MiG-15. And another thing I also did was curve out the tail, so the tail looks more. Uh, more like curved rather than just kind of like it goes out by one and then straight up and then it kind of comes in a step pattern but other than that the wings are the same so there's no really no changes um, the placement of the landing gear is also the same it basically looks the exact same thing it's the exact same size also just those are the two little changes that I've done to it I personally like this one a lot better so, anyways, just a little bit of information about the MiG-15 in case you guys want to know some stuff. The MiG-15 was a Soviet-built fighter plane. Um, it was supposed to rival the F-86, uh, but it was it uh, couldn't match the F-86's speed and armament. Uh, so, but they did manage to get them somehow. So, uh, this, but yeah, that's basically kind of all I know, and, I, and it was also, it appeared in a number of different wars, such as the Korean War, the Vietnam War, and I'm pretty sure the Gulf War. I'm not entire, I'm not 100% on that, correct me with that, like, tell me if I'm right or wrong. But anyways, um, ma ma the main materials you'll be needing for this build is black wool, buttons, stone slab, cobblestone wall, glass, cobblestone stairs, iron bars, block of iron and a lever. Now there's a lot less materials than the other one so that's kinda good. Uh, so anyways I'm going to be going over here and we are going to go build it. Okay just a couple little things before we begin. Um, I still have not m um, put any like cannons or any sort of detail on it because uh, I still can't figure it out. I may make a a uh, video probably coming up after this or something. It's going to be of detailing the MiG-15, and we'll put like lots of details. I did find out how to do though the gas tanks. Uh, I'll show you how to do that maybe at the end of the tutorial. I don't have them on this one, but I will show you how to do them. Um, but I, yeah, I couldn't. Fi I still can't f find a way to have the cannons, so I'll have to really work with that. Or you guys can maybe work something too, and maybe show me pictures of them. So that'd be pretty cool. So now let's go build it. Okay, so for layer number one, and by the way, there is no other layers for this uh, because it's actually really easy and I know exactly how to build it. Uh, the only part that's going to be really tricky for me to explain is the tail, but we'll get through that. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is you want to place one block here, and you want to place your buttons on the sides. Then with a regular stone slab, like just with your any with with your stone slabs, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you're just gonna have six down, right here. You're gonna go one, two, one, two. You're gonna place a black here and a black block here. Then you can just get rid of this because we don't need that, and I'll fix that later. Oops, did not mean to do that. Where was it? I think here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. It was right here. Don't do that. There we go. And then you're just going to place your cobblestone walls right on top of here. Not on this one uh, because um, oh yeah, because it's kind of it's more of a low 
low plane that gets low to the ground so I just did not place it and then what you're just going to do to finish up this up is you're just going to have your buttons on the other the other uh, sides just like that now we'll get on to the main body okay so for the main fuselage what you're going to do or just the base of it what you're going to do is you're going to go you're going to put one right on top of here you're going to extend this out by two counting these three you're going to go back 16 so three four five six seven eight nine 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then what you're just going to do is you're just going to uh, put them all the way up. So you may need to put one, put a double one, and then just put one to the side. I'll show you, show you the other side. So you're going to put one here. Like make this like a four block. And put one here, delete that one, then re-put it back. And then you're just going to go all the way down. And then this one's just going to go one more over. Just like that. And then you're just going to fill all of this in. And there's what it should look like. Just like that. Okay, so for the next layer, so we're just building up now. Uh, this is really, really easy. It's mostly just a tube. So what you're going to do now is you're going to have a double slab here. And you're just going to put double slabs all the way down. So the kind of the easy way to do it is just place your slabs just going all the way down. And it's, it's going to go one more. So it's going to join up with that slab. And then you're just going to double them all up. Just like that. And the same with the other side. Just like that. And then what you're just going to do is you're going to grab your black piece of wool. You're going to put it right down on this one. So like you're going to count in three. You're going to have an iron bar. Well, you don't actually have to. You can you can do it. You don't have to place this iron bar. It's kind of optional. I just wanted to do it just for some little detail. I don't actually think the Real Make 15 even had some kind of iron thing in between it. I don't know. I'm not going to do it. Never mind. You don't need iron bars. It, if, it depends if you want to. So you're going to go one, two, three. You're just going to drag this all the way back until it's, it's too short. Then you're just going to place a black block here. So and then what you're going to do is you're going to, and actually it's one more ahead. So you're going to have one more. So it should just be two. And then there's basically two on the back. So then what you're just going to do is you're just going to come over with one, two, and actually, huh, this needs to be right here, this black block, and then that needs to be right there, this piece of iron, but we're actually going to re be replacing this with our black wool, because that's going to be for the cockpit. And actually, you know what, I think I might want to move it one more down. I mean, I personally actually do not like that kind of... So I'm just gonna like move it down, and then then you're just gonna you're gonna have basically three here. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then this is gonna go all the way back, and it's just gonna overhang by one, just like that. And same thing, same thing on the other side, just like that. And you should have one, two, three, four pieces of blocks in there. And then what you're just going to do is you're going to you're going to have some blocks here. You're going to double this up and double this up. This is to make your cockpit. And then you're just going to double all this up and just like that. And then this is going to go all the way down. And you're just going to leave two at the at the very back. And do the same with the other side. You're going to leave two. So that's how it should look like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the cockpit and then we'll do the wings and then the tail and the little tail wings and we are finished. Okay, so for the cockpit, now there actually is two versions I'm going to show you of the MiG-15. Um, there's one that's the normal MiG-15, the fi actual fighter plane one. Then there is the MiG-15 UTI, which is a trainer 
version of the aircraft. Uh, in my last video, I did not know if the MiG-15 had two, two or one seat, so I just decided uh, to put in a second seat, or I, no, it was a slab, I, did not, I wasn't sure, so. But this one, now I know this one um, will be whichever version you want to choose. So this one, I guess we'll build the U2, UTI first version because this one actually has a big enough cockpit. So what you're just going to do, you're going to have one right at the back and then one more right here. And then you're going to have a lever here and a lever here. And then you can obviously place a compass and an item frame. Well, an item frame, then a compass. Uh, and then what you're just going to do is you're just going to have a slab here. And you're going to have four pieces of glass. One, two, three, four. And if you wanted an open cockpit, you could just delete this one. Actually, delete those two, so you can have like a nice open cockpit. Of course, you can't get inside of it, unfortunately, but there is your MiG-15 UTI if you want it. Uh, those of you who want the normal MiG-15, we're going to go build that right now. Okay, so to make the normal MiG-15, what you're going to do is you're just going to cut down one block, and you're just going to have one on the side, one on the side, and then it's just going to double up like that. And then you'll just have your slab right here. Oops, not, not a button. Slab. Nope. Slab. You're going to have a black piece of wool right here. You're going to have a cobblestone stair here. And then you're just going to have a lever right here. And then you can place a item frame and compass there. And then you could just place three blocks over. Just like that. And um, if you want to, we might want to actually move it up. So yeah, basically just move this one up, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so you should just move it up by one, and uh, this is what it should look like. The reason why I, it look kind of looked better with three blocks because it, this kind of makes it look a bit uglier, I guess. I don't know, but uh, I don't know. Uh, the Mig 15, but uh, the Mig 15 did have a really close cockpit to the front, so I think that's uh, the way I should do it. And if you're also having the UTI version, all you're going to do is just cut out this one right here, and you could just add an extra one, and then just basically add an extra seat and an extra piece of glass, just like that. I'm using the normal MiG-15, I'm just doing the normal one, because why not? Uh, so next what we're going to do is we're going to be putting in the wings. Okay, so for the wings, what you're going to do is you're just going to come right to where this third glass is. You're going to come down right on here. So it's going to be in the lower part of the third one. So if you just count down the lines, like one, two, three. So basically a four block, then a slab, then it's your slab. So it's basically one. And then this part right here with, the, with basically the center line. On the lower part, you're just going to have your slab right here. You're going to make the six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to have this coming out by two and leaving one. You're going to have up, you're going to have uh, five sets of two. So two, four, six, and it should equal to ten. Eight, eight, ten. So you should have one, two, three, four, and five. Then what you're just going to do is you're just going to make this wing in a step pattern. You're just going to follow it up. Now it actually does need to be one more larger. So just like that. And then for these little wing details, um, I'm not even sure what they are, but they're just, uh, they were on the actual plane. You're just going to have, one, you're going to come in right here, like right from the second one. One, two, three, four. You're going to leave three. And on this set of three, you're going to have three more. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. So starting from the second one, right here, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll make sure that's right. Oh, seven. It's actually seven. I made that mistake, actually. Um, let's just play seven. So it's two, four. Six, eight, ten. And then you're just going to drag all these until it reaches a step pattern. Just 
just like that. And then you're just going to do the same thing. One, two, three, four. I'm going to leave this three and one, two, three. So that's what you should that's what you should have. Take a screenshot of this if you really want to. Just in case if you guys get confused. Alright, now we're gonna move on to the tail. Okay, so for the last part, which is going to be the rudder or the tail, um this is going to be the most difficult part for me to explain to you guys. So I'm going to try to do it as best as possible. I've already uh, marked the starting point. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to the back. Where, the, where, you, where we got these slabs that kind of go over like this, like before the sets of two, you're going to go right on the third one, and it's going to be right here. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to have a slab right on here. This is going to get doubled. You have a slab right here. This is also going to get doubled. Then you're going to have a slab right here. This gets doubled. And it should go five. So it's one, two, three. So wait, one, two, three, four, five. So this should be your last one. And then all you're going to do is just, you're just going to build... You're basically just going to build up until you have a two at the top. So that's what it should look like right there. And if you really wanted to, you can actually like maybe cut pieces of it to make it look smoother. This is what, just what I did. Now all we need to do to finish this up is put in the little tail wings. Okay, so for the back tail wings, uh, what you're just going to do, this is going to be the easiest way to count this. Basically, go right to the last one right here, and go one, two, three, so count up three, and it's going to be one more over on the top part. So basically, you got one, two, three, go one, and then put one right on the top part of the slab, Then this is just going to go three, and then you're going to have four sets of three, so that's two, three, four, and then one, two. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So one, two, that's three. One, oops. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. And there you go. That finishes it. Okay, guys, that wraps up this tutorial. So I hopefully you find some use for this plane. Uh, if you're making a Cold War era style like map, these MiG-15s would be perfect. Um, I will also be having some other Cold War planes such as the Sabre, the MiG-21, and possibly the F-4 Phantom coming out very soon. Hoping to get all those tutorials done and ready. Um, but yeah, so I might make a part two to this video. Uh, which will be detailing. Uh, like I said, I have to find how I'm going to be doing all the details, such as the cannons. Oh yeah, I was actually going to show you how to do the gas tanks. I almost forgot about those. So what you will be needing for the gas tanks, um, if you just go into inventory, inventory, you're just going to grab some light gray wool. And uh, what you could do is you're going to come right on the second last one of two, so you have this one right here, the last one, you're going to come right here. You're just going to put one piece of light gray wool here, you're going to come back by one, and then this one's going to go all the way right here, and it's going to come by two. And actually there's, oh well, yeah, then there's, there's just going to be one. And then you could just place a piece of cobblestone wall right here. And you could probably put a button. Place a button, not on the side, but right on the front. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So it's going to be right here. So remember, these are the last two. And then right here, you're going to place one piece of cobblestone wall. You're going to come out by two. You're going to have your button right here. So that is your fuel tank. So that's the only kind of details I know how to do. I will figure out how to put cannons in. Maybe even put some color onto this. So, 
I hope you guys really did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, make sure to hit that like button as hard as you can. I would really appreciate that. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.